shade and a beautiful sunny day ahead there as well for Perth. Origo Education's Australia's leading mathematics education company. They're now launching online big books and also avatars made by an ex-Pixar animator, Pixar, owned by Disney, of course. For more, we're joined by James Burnett, the founder of the company. Thanks so much for your time. G'day, Aaron. How are you? Yeah, doing very well. Talk to us about the launch of the big books and, of course, how the avatars are made by an ex-Pixar animator, how it could actually help yeah. guide children. I met, uh, I met this uh, small startup company in San Diego at a math conference and uh, it was their first time displaying and we had two or three people who actually worked alongside um, uh, the, our app, the Apple founder and uh, yeah, the Pixar, Pixar operator and, uh, and Warner Brothers and, um, and Disney. And Amazing. Their, yeah. their, 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 the rendering was just terrific. It was just, just you know, cutting edge and we thought we had to do something with these guys and that was last year and we weren't ready. And so, you know, lo and behold, the, uh, the pandemic happened and we just had to start creating these uh, digital resources. So we took our traditional, you know, print-based uh, big books and, and, and made them come alive for, for children. So what's in the big books? Yeah, <laughs> but they look like that. I thought I'd show you one. So they are actually physically <laughs> big. And there's those wow. 48 titles and uh, you share the stories. And this particular one's Hip Hop Hippo. So it's talking about... Um, these hippos would jump along a number track. So you introduce math concepts to young children. So, you know, kinder kids, uh, grade one, grade two kids. Fantastic. And, and um, can you can say you can that you uh, met the guitar guy at a maths conference? Yeah, a maths conference. Can you believe it? What sort of uh, person goes to a maths conference? I've got to ask. Yeah, well, us uh, math educators, I guess. And, and that, that part's not unusual. But to see an animator... An animator yeah, right. startup company decided to go to a, a math conference, uh, and there's Amazing. a little avatar there. Like math animation, right? Yeah, and it just it just makes the mathematics more engaging. And you know, they'd have a little uh, character like that. Believe it or not, that's supposed to be me. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and he's he's reading a story, and uh, and there's two other avatars as well. And uh, and they they pose questions throughout a story, just like a teacher would in a normal setting. So. Uh, in this, in this world of having to uh, teach remotely, you know, anything we can do to, to bring the mathematics alive and make it more engaging is very helpful. So, yeah, it's, it's quite yeah, exciting absolutely. being able to do that within three months. So uh, just finally, talk to us about the projects that you, you're currently working on. I mean, it's fantastic, the work that you're doing. Just give us an idea of the other stuff you're doing too. Uh, I, I've actually, so like, since I last stood to you, uh, spoke to you, I stood down from the CEO role so I can focus more on the creative products. So I'm writing uh, 16 titles uh, for the upper wow. grades now. So we have readers and, and then non-fiction readers for grades three, four, five, six. So the plan is again, they have to be digital and we're, we're looking at using augmented reality to bring those alive for those children. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, I'm looking for a, a long weekend book. I might uh, get one of your big books to help me out. Appreciate your time, <laughs> sir. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you. All right. Now this will make